Tonight's big story busted. A bold holdup at a Walmart last week in Wauwatosa leads to three arrests. Cops say this was an inside job. And our Ben Handelman says they almost got away with it. He's live at the Walmart neighborhood market. Ben. Good evening. And the Wauwatosa Police Department says the ringleader behind this heist was an ex Walmart employee. The downfall of the whole thing, apparently, a big mouth and an FBI informant. A bold stick up at a well secure store. Wow, I'm really surprised. Wauwatosa police say two armed robbers walked into the Walmart neighborhood market near 124th and Capitol, rounding up workers and demanding cash early last Friday. Newly released police reports say the store is no stranger to one of the robbers. Reports claim this was an inside job by a recently fired worker who knew the store well. 20 year old Michael Robertson so far is the only man charged, but two others, including the ex employee, are under arrest. Reports say Robertson and the ex Walmart employee held workers at gunpoint when a manager led the men to cash registers. Reports say the man told her, No, we're going to the cash office. Make sure you turn off the alarm. Hurry up, or I'm going to shoot you. Police documents say a third man waited as a getaway driver. I think you'd be a little bit desperate, I guess. You know, there's cameras. You know, it's pretty likely someone's going to figure out at some point who it is. Cops say they eventually did find their men, not from the cameras, but an FBI informant. Police records say the informant heard the men conspiring about the plan a day earlier, originally planning an armed robbery on the street. Reports say the ex employee drafted a more bold plan. That's ridiculous. That uh, freaked me out. Shoppers just learning of the news seem surprised the robbers would hit such a big, well secure store. The district attorney says more than $14,000 was nabbed in a robbery that might have worked if it wasn't for some help from the FBI. Wauwatosa police documents show they found a hand drawn map of the Walmart neighborhood market in one of the suspects' home. Uh, Robertson's been the, he's been the only one charged so far. He says the only reason he went in there with a gun was because that ex Walmart employee threatened to kill him if he did not. The DA's office is still reviewing the case against the two other suspects. We're live in Wauwatosa. Ben Handelman, Fox 6 News. You think if they had a map that they would have destroyed it right after allegedly doing that? Yeah, it's been an interesting case. This one has got a lot of twists and turns in it. Yeah, thank you, Ben. Thanks for that.